very, very early prototype that you can possibly drive. Bad things may happen, and I'm not, I can't guarantee. <laughs> Don't use that one for anything in production today. But actually, there's a really cool library uh, written by Daniel Buchner, who I believe is right there from okay. Mozilla. And he's built this really cool library called Xtags. Xtags is basically a polyfill for the custom elements part of what we showed you today. Um, the cool thing about that is this actually works in all major browsers. It uses a number of very clever hacks to do it. But you actually can start building real apps on top of this today if you want with custom elements. Right, and moreover, Daniel is actually actively at work uh, building a pretty, pretty solid toolkit on top of this, the UI widget library, that would potentially power some really, really cool applications in the future. That's really cool, so check that out once we post the link to the, to the plus page. All right, great. So that, that's it, that's all we got for you today. We wanted to share a little bit more about web components, this really exciting thing from the future. Thank you. <laughs> The future bus leaves in 10 minutes, uh, but until then, we can answer your questions if you'd like. Let's come up to one of these microphones that we've got here in the aisles. What about events? That's the question we just got from the audience. Right. The events are actually also handled by the Shadow Down specifications, and there's uh, really neat things that we do to make sure that the information in the event never escapes outside of the Shadow Down subtree, but the events are heard. It's called the retargeting. And what happens is that if something fires, like for example, if you click a play button in your video element, the event, the click event, propagates out, but it looks like it came from the video element. Does that make sense? So it's actually a really complex part of this thing, and we thought extremely hard to make sure that Shadow DOM feels transparent to the user, and it doesn't look like it's affecting any actual normal operation of the events. But the information from the inside of the Shadow DOM subtree never leaks out on the outside. Oh, so we got a question. So it sounds like uh, a lot of this is helping you with bringing in